a very good morning to all my student today we are going to see the the clavicle bone so the bone which you are seeing here this is known as clavicle also known as the collar bone and this is also known as the long bone so this is s shaped right so it is acting like a strut for holding the upper limb far away from the trunk so that it can move freely right so there are some peculiar features related with the the clavicle so this is only a horizontal bone that is present in our body no medullary cavity it is subcutaneous you can feel the this bone it is subcutaneous and this is the first bone to start ossifying that is between fifth to sixth week of intrauterine life and we have uh, we can say that this is also last bone to complete its ossification that is almost at the age of 24 years or 25 years and uh, we can say that it is also pierced with the help of the the nerve that is known as supraclavicular nerve and it is also having two primary ossification center so this is the bone which is having two primary ossification center and only long bone which ossifies in the membrane except its medial end now we have uh, the features regarding the the clavicle so it is having three parts right so we have the three parts are medial end we have the lateral end and we have the shaft so the lateral end you can see here it is flattened from upwards to downwards so we can say that it is having upper surface lower surface we have the anterior border and we have the posterior border now the lateral end here it articulates with the the acrobium process of the scapula to form a acromioclavicular joint which is known as plane joint plane joint here the medial end which is almost quadrangular right this medial end articulates with the the clavicular notch that is present in the manubrium sterni to form a joint that is known as sternoclavicular joint and this one is known as the shaft right now if you see this one shaft the medial two third of the shaft right this is known as the medial two third of the shaft which is almost convex anteriorly and we have the the lateral one third of the shaft this much which is almost uh, it is concave anteriorly then we have to see about uh, the the surface in the medial aspect so in the medial aspect of the shaft we have the four surface this is known as the anterior surface this is known as the posterior surface this is known as the superior surface while well, this is known as the inferior surface right same how in the the lateral aspect of the shaft we have the upper surface or superior surface we have the inferior surface we have the anterior border and we have the posterior border right same how if i turn the the clavicle right so this is now the posterior surface sorry this is now the inferior surface here we can see in the middle one third we have a groove that is known as the groove for the subclavius muscle then in the lateral aspect we have the tubercle that is known as the conoid tubercle and just lateral to the conoid tubercle we have the ridge so this green color whatever marking you can see here this is known as the trapezoid ridge right so these all are the main features that you can see now near the medial aspect that is inferior surface we have the rough impression for the ligament that is known as coroco uh, sorry we have the costoclavicular ligament right now what we can see here is uh, muscles attachment if you see the muscles attachment now uh, the medial aspect right so anterior surface of the medial aspect we have the origin of clavicular head of pectoralis major muscles at the above that is in the superior surface we have the origin of sternocleidomastoid muscles on the back side we have the origin of sternohyoid muscles takes place and in the inferior aspect we have the costoclavicular ligament now in the middle we have the groove right that is groove for subclavius muscles so the muscles which is inserted here is known as subclavius muscle now we have the tubercle here in the inferior aspect that is known as conoid tubercle 
and we have the trapezoid ridge so the, the ligament which is attached here is known as coracoclavicular ligament means ligament is attached to the coracoid process as well as to the conoid as well as the trapezoid ridge now this is known as the lateral end we have anterior border so we have the origin of anterior fibers of deltoid takes place and here we have the insertion of the the trapezius muscles takes place right now we have to know about the ossification center so it is having two primary ossification center that is at the mid one at the middle end of the shaft one at the lateral end of the shaft and we have the the two secondary ossification center one near the medial end also known as the sternal end one near the the lateral end also known as the acromial end then we have some clinical aspect related with this one is known as the clavicular dystosis so clavicular dystosis means it is a clinical condition uh, in which the medial and the lateral part of the clavicle remains separated due to non union of the two primary center of the ossification then we have the cleidocranial dystosis it is a clinical condition which is uh, characterized by partial or complete absence of clavicle associated with the the defective ossification of the skull bone now how we can say this is done as the right side or the left side keep in mind always the quadrangular end should be always the medial end and the flat should be always in the lateral end and can you see here here we have the groove which should be always in the inferior aspect and we have the conoid tubercle should be always in the inferior aspect right so everything is in the inferior aspect and the medial two third of the shaft which is convex anteriorly and the lateral one third should be convex part should be facing again anteriorly so can you say that this is known as the right side of the the clavicle thank you